Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Call Fishing. Okay, so we're on the same walk again, so you guys already know I'm heading to uh, the Seattle Piers to try for some winter squid. As you guys can see, conditions today are pretty good. Low to no wind, small swell, and temperature in the low 50. I'm going about two hours after low tide. So uh, I'm not expecting to see too many people here. Now that it's reaching the uh, prime time of the season, I'm trying to go at the time where I don't expect to see too many people out here, the less crowded time. On the drive in, I saw a good amount of folks leaving with uh, what looks to be really heavy buckets. So I'm assuming that it's really hot right now and that people are limited out. Okay, walking out to the pure spot now, and it's looking good in terms of people not too crowded. Kind of what I prefer in a current environment. Okay, so uh, once I got there, easy to find a spot, not too many people, and the action was on. It started out a little bit slow, but still catching, catching about one a minute, and then it slowed down. I caught about a pound and a half of squid, average size, after half an hour-ish. Then things started to slow down for another half hour, and then it really picked up. But the nice thing here is that the big squids are in, and I'm catching jumbos, 10 to 12 inch winter squids. They are in. This is a great time right now if you're into squid and to come on out and catch some of these giants. They're a lot of fun and great exercise for your wrist. Once the winter squids are in, it's easy to get doubles and even triples on your setup. I was running a two lure setup, so I was getting double almost every other hit. Unfortunately, my GoPro battery died by that time, so I don't have those footage, but you can see some of the uh, giant ones that I've caught here. A quick note on gears for you guys. Uh, you don't need anything heavy duty, but for the winter time, uh, go a little bit heavier in your gears, about 8 to 10 pound test line at least. Make sure you guys also adjust your drags because these guys are pretty heavy to uh, pull in. You're going to want to set them a little bit tighter than usual. One thing I do recommend for you guys to get is the lightest reel you can get. The rest will thank you after a, a couple hours of squid in. With squid in, especially from the piers, you don't need more than 50, 60 feet of line. So you don't need a heavy duty uh, reel or anything and the squids aren't going to school you. So definitely try to get the uh, smallest and lightest ones you can. Okay, so these were the two jigs that I was using. The uh, pink one on the bottom and the small uh, light blue one on the top. I don't think color matters too much when the squids are in. As long as you have the local setup, you should be good to go. Here's a picture with much better lighting conditions in my GoPro for you guys. Okay, and this is the results from night of squid in. I was out for about an hour and a half and was able to limit on mostly giant winter squid. I ended the night with a monster squid. I think my PB on the right right there. I think at least 12 inches. I didn't get a chance to measure it, but a giant. To celebrate catching a bunch of giant winter squid, I want to show you guys a simple raw squid sashimi recipe. Okay, first thing is to clean them out, same as usual, knife comes in, guts comes out. One method I learned is to stick your finger in, since these winter squids are big enough, and loosen it up where the back spine is. Once you loosen it up, then you can pull it out, guts and everything. This is as fresh of a squid that you're going to get caught from the pier just maybe half an hour ago. You can still see the color change. Don't forget to also remove the spine after you take out the guts and everything. 
and you can do this using the same method just stick your finger in loosen it up a little bit and pull it out all right once that's done you can cut out the guts don't forget to also remove the beaks from the head you can do this by just opening up the tentacle and popping it out it should easily come right off and it'll feel like a hard piece of a uh, plastic almost and you can see the beaks it is pretty sharp so be careful all right next step we're gonna go ahead and remove the skin from the squid you can leave it on but since we're eating it raw i prefer to have the skin off and to do that you can just peel it start from one end and work through it okay once we're done we're going to want to cut the body parts into thin strips go ahead and cut them into the size that you prefer to eat i like just small bite-sized ones you can also cut up the head into smaller pieces if you like but i like to eat the whole thing whole so i'll keep it once you're done cutting it up into small pieces you can give them a quick rinse and plate them all right here is the squid all clean up and put on the squid what you need here is uh, some limes or lemon i happen to have limes and some salt and you're ready to go okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle some salt all over the squid just a little bit for it to taste okay once we've done that we're gonna just go ahead and squeeze some limes all over it as much as you like I'm using about half a lime here because the squid was pretty big. Alright, once that's done, that's it. You can just go ahead and mix this up like a salad, ready to eat. Alright, to go along with the squid sashimi, I'm going to make a simple soy sauce and wasabi dipping sauce. Use the ratio of wasabi to soy sauce here you're liking. I like a good kick in mine, so I'm going to squeeze in a healthy dose of wasabi. Probably a little bit too much here, but it's all good. I like it. All right, and here's the final product. Make sure to serve it with a drink of your choice and great way to end the night. If you guys haven't tried raw squid yet, I highly recommend it, especially with squid this fresh. Fantastic. All right, I hope you guys can give this recipe a try. A great way to enjoy raw squid and if you have any other recipe for uh, raw squid let me know below and um, I would definitely love to try them mm. Mm. it's actually really good mm. 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 It's just like sushi.
all right guys thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions or comments below i hope uh, everyone enjoyed the video and it provides you guys with some inspirations to get out there and catch some of this mm -hmm. delicious winter squid if you guys enjoyed the video and find the content helpful please uh, comment subscribe and like the video will definitely help out a lot okay thanks for watching everyone until next time good luck out there and squid on